Hello, welcome to another quick Blender tutorial. I'm going to turn on screencast real quick. So um, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to import a QR image and then convert that into a 3D model, uh, which is suitable for 3D printing. So uh, first thing we want to do is import our image. So we go to the UV image editor, open our image. Uh, it's important to use a black and white image. Uh, some of the QR generators export a black image with alpha channel. Uh, that won't work because of the way Blender interprets images. So uh, make sure you have a black and white image. You can get that done in Photoshop, GIMP or whatever you want. Um, then after you imported the image, add a plane into your scene. Uh, it's nice that it's rectangular already. That will come in handy. Then go into edit, view, edit mode, select everything and project view from bounce. That, uh, essentially projects our uh, QR code onto our plane. Now the QR code itself, uh, you can see it's split up into different blocks. So we want to recreate this block uh, geometry into our plane as well. For that we uh, deselect everything, press Ctrl R to open the cut menu. And in this case, um, oops, in this case, uh, we want 28 uh, cuts. So project from view again and you've seen I've, did it, I've done it wrong. So in this case we go back because uh, our cuts don't line up. Uh, again, oh, see that's the problem. So what you want to do is press Ctrl R, type in 28, press enter, press 0, press enter. So uh, now if we select everything, project from view again, you see that each line lines up between um, yeah, the raster of the QR code. You want to do the same in the other direction. Press 28, press, uh, oh, not 280, press 28, press 0, press enter. And again, everything lines up nicely. So, uh, next thing we want to do is edit displacement modifier. So we go to our modifier panel of the plane, uh, add a new texture, uh, make sure it's set to UV coordinates. Uh, select the right UV map. We only want to displace in the Z direction. And then we go into the texture panel, go to the displacement texture, it's set to image already. Uh, down here we can select the image we loaded already, which is this one. And it should just straight show up. Okay, so this is what you see right now. Um, this, yeah, all these gradients are essentially because each vertex is on uh, essentially corner point. You can see uh, the image is not perfectly just black and pure white, but there's some interpolation or um, yeah going on in here, which smoothens the thing out and makes it look all funky. So what we want to do is go into edit mode of our plane again, select everything, uh, press extrude individual. Um, ooh, one mistake you can see right here. Uh, I was not in the right selection mode. So uh, delete, oh, delete all of that again. Uh, go into face selection mode, press extrude individual, right click to deselect the uh, translation, then um, select your pivot point to individual origins and scale each face, all the faces now to, for example, 0 0.7. It's a nice number to remember. Uh, you can see nothing has changed in our UV projection yet. Uh, for that, again, go into top view, press U, project from view bounce. And now you can see that the center squares all line up perfectly in the black and white areas. So our center squares essentially are exactly what we want. Uh, some funky stuff happening over here. What's, what's with that? So to look a bit closer into it, you can... Uh, well, yeah, anyways, it doesn't really matter. So um, we have our... Uh, our QR code now. Uh, in this case, I want the other, the inverse essentially of this. So I change the extrusion strength of the displacement modifier to minus 0.3, makes it look a little bit nicer. All right, now apply the displacement modifier. Don't need the QR picture anymore. Uh, go into edit mode again and select one of the faces, then click select, select similar area. Now uh, we want to decrease the threshold to really 
just select the faces which we actually want. So let's just go in here, type in a really small number, and that should essentially just select what we need. Uh, invert our selection with Control I, delete, make sure you delete faces, not vertices right now. And now, okay, uh, Mr. Miss sum right here. Go back to vertex select, select this vertex, and get rid of it. Okay, now uh, make sure you have everything selected again. Go back to face select, make sure we're still on pivot individual origins. And now we press scale, uh, equal, and then one divided by 0 0.7. So remember the number you typed in previously. So we wanna scale it back to the original dimensions. Uh, while doing so, uh, we now have created perfect uh, geometry according to the QR picture without any deflections and weird angles and stuff. Now each of our faces is now on its own. Uh, to get rid of that, first click remove doubles and then if you like you can use limited dissolve to make the whole thing one, uh, one surface, but yeah, well, it's not, not really necessary for this step, actually I prefer to leave it without it because then your geometry is perfectly fine. Now, select the lower part of your model and press P, selection separate, to split the upper and lower half of your displacement, which corresponds to the positive and the negative projection of the QR code. So go into edit mode of the half or of the version you would like. So I like this part, press extrude, to extrude the uh, well, all the surfaces into volume, like this, and ooh, you can see there's like some uh, funky geometry here. Uh, I'll just get rid of that real quick. No, okay. So now we have our three D model. Um, one one way to make sure that everything has been transferred is if you look from the top over both of them, there shouldn't be a hole anywhere. So uh, that essentially the lower part here is the exact inverse of the upper one. Now we would like to add a plane to our QR code, make it maybe uh, well, extrude it a little bit, uh, make it a little bit bigger. Uh, move it up slightly so it intersects nicely with this part and then essentially use a boolean modifier to merge both of them into one piece. Okay, I can't... Why can't it? Well, probably we need to subdivide this a little bit. So let's do the same thing with the uh, cuts again. And we want the union now we can hide everything else, and this is our perfect 3D model of the QR code. Thank you very much for watching, and good luck.